are joining in from we just want to welcome you to our youth week of prayer and we just ask that you will continue to pray for us mm -hmm. and give us your support for this entire week for the month of march in particular which is seen across the world church as youth emphasis month and so we just want to thank you for your support and we're just excited and we're grateful for what god is doing and will continue to do in our lives as we give him praise, honor, and glory. Um, the theme for the week of prayer is God's message for today. Mm -hmm. And um, it's so relevant and it's so appropriate because we need God's message. There is too much opinions we are hearing from government, from individuals, from institutions. We need to hear God speaking. And so that's what his word is, is, is here to give us his instructions. And so we're just excited and, and, and I'm, I'm excited to, to just to know what God is going to do for us in our, in our pastoral district for the month of March as we go through with our young people. You have anything to say about that, my wife? What do you want to say about that? <laughs> no, I'm just excited for the youths as well. Um, yeah. And I hope that not just for the youths, but mm -hmm. for both our churches, that um, the, the adults will give the support to the young people. We have to support our young people. Amen. We have to invest in them, support their program, pray them up as we go through this week. Um, invite a friend. We cannot stress that enough. Invite yes, a friend yes. to be a part of it because yes. we want to experience a true revival Amen. during... Um, this week. this week of oh, prayer yes. and that, that even yeah. after the week of prayer the fire will continue the flame will continue to, to burn, burn. within the hearts of our young people so welcome everyone and at this time we'll turn over to our moderator for this evening yes. um sister dorcas amen amen well good evening everyone and thank you pastor Campbell and sister donna for that um welcoming message it's really um uh, a uh, privilege to be part of this um, week of prayer for sure. Yeah, and we just counted a blessing and hoping that we will indeed be blessed throughout this week. Yeah, so um, I will just go on and start uh, with uh, a word of prayer. Shall we pray? Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this privilege that you've given us, Lord. We thank you to be a part of this amazing series of uh, prayers as well as messages that we're going to be hearing as well as sharing Lord we pray in us that may the Holy Spirit be with us even as we are going to be listening and sharing the word Lord Jesus let the word find it uh, a place in our hearts and transform us in a very special way we pray and thank you for everything may you continue abiding with us we pray through our Lord Jesus Christ with a lot of thanksgiving in our hearts amen Amen. So, um, well, at this moment, uh, we'll just invite every one of us to um, open our hymns, even as we um, sing the, the hymn of praise, which is three, two, one. Okay. Just a minute, just want to... So we'll be singing our hymn of praise today, which is three, two, one. My Jesus, I love thee. I don't know if we can turn on our audios or we can just stay like that and I'll just go and leave it like that. We'll sing in silence because it's going to be oh. confusing. Yeah. <laughs> so you can okay. go ahead. <laughs> okay. My Jesus, I love thee, I know. Thou art mine for thee, all the follies of sin I resign. My gracious Redeemer, my Savior, art thou if ever. My Jesus, this now I love thee because 
thou hast best love me in. and patches my pattern on Calvary's tree. I love thee for wearing the thorns on thy brow. If ever I love thee, my Jesus, this now I'll love thee in life. I will love thee till death and praise thee as long as thou lendest me breath. And say when the dirt lies cold on my brow, ill ever I love thee, my Jesus, this now in my chance of glory and endless delight. I'll ever adore thee in heaven so bright. I'll sing with the glittering crown on my brow. If My Jesus, this now. Amen. Amen. That's um, our hymn of praise, and we are indeed blessed with that. Yeah, so at this moment, I would love to invite um, the prayer requests, even as I will. I would like that um, to volunteers to pray for the requests that will be given. Yeah. So, any prayer requests? Well, Sister Dorcas, you can pray for me because I'm I'm pretty nervous. So, just pray for me. Amen. Okay, Sister Raven. <laughs> okay, any other prayer requests? Uh, please pray for, I don't know, yeah, I think her name is Nadine. Um, so I had posted the, the, prayer, um, the prayer line information on my WhatsApp status, and she saw it, and she asked me if I could um, include her in our prayer time. So she's asking us if we could pray for her. I don't know her situation, but just um, call her by name. Her name is Nadine. Okay. Well, thank you, Sister Brianna. Oh, Sister Dan, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, any other prayer request? Okay. Uh, well, I have a prayer request. I, I, it's more like a, uh, a testimony and a, a worry at the same time. So um, yesterday I was praying to God about um, certain, the use of social media so i was praying to god that i can i mean that he should be able to cut off certain things that are you know taking off my time for him and just having that time for god and yeah so i put my my heart to god and i was actually even crying when i prayed for that and um, well after that <laughs> yeah for some reason i just um finished praying and i started studying and and I was like, okay, let me just check something on, on Instagram. And then I received a message from somebody and a, a very good friend of mine, a close friend back home. And she was asking for help. For, it didn't even occur to me to just go on. And um, they wanted to log in their 
something uh, happened to their information on Instagram. So I ended up sharing my info, I mean, helping them because I knew that was my friend and I was trying to contact them on WhatsApp. They didn't reply. So I thought maybe that was true. They were really going through that um, issue. So for after some time, I couldn't log into my Instagram again. So it means that I, and then I tried to contact the friend that fortunately they, she was online on Facebook and I tried to contact her and she was like, oh no, my Instagram page has been hacked for some time now, so I don't use it. So apparently I'm not going on my Instagram now and I first got for that, but I'm worried that maybe they might actually um, use my identity for something else. So I'm praying to God that um they shouldn't have access to that. I don't know, but I do believe that God is able and I thank him for that because it's a prayer answered, but again, I'm worried for something like that. Yeah, so that's my prayer request. Okay, um, so we have about three prayer requests. One is for the speaker and then for Sister Nadine. Um, so I would love to uh, volunteers to pray for and also my prayer request the, the last one <laughs> yeah so I would like to be able to um, volunteer to pray for uh, Sister Robin and also Sister Nadine and myself I have a prayer request yes um, Ariana okay I would like to pray for all the youth Okay, for all the youths, amen. We thank you for that, um, for sure. We need prayers. Yeah, so um, do we have the two volunteers to pray for the requests? Can I add another prayer request or two? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna pray for the people in Ukraine and all the things that they're going through. I'm just really concerned about our brothers and sisters there and would love to see that ended as soon as possible. Also, um, I know it was mentioned yesterday for prayer for Rhonda. She's sick and her, her father is going to have surgery. Also, the lady that I sit with, it's about 92 or 94 years old. She's going to have a procedures done on Tuesday. So please keep her in your prayers. Her name is Yvonne. Okay. Okay, thank you so much, Sister Caroline, for that for sure. Um, any other prayer requests? Uh, well, I would love um, to invite Pastor Campbell to pray for the request and um well Pastor Sapelko. I think Sister yes, Miriam's okay. hand is raised. Yes, Sister oh, Miriam. Okay, Sister Miriam, thank you so much. I didn't see that. Sorry for that. No problem. Okay, well, thank you. So we'll have um, our prayer request uh, being prayed for, one by Sister Miriam and Pascamba. Uh, is that okay? Okay. Thank you. Dear Father in heaven, we thank you, Lord, for the privilege of prayer. We thank you, Jesus, so much for this youth week of prayer where um, the church and the youth can come together and seek after you even more. We thank you, Jesus, for this blessing and also for the opportunity with the technology that we can combine with the Auburn Opelika Church and to come together and to pray and to encourage and uplift our youth, Lord Jesus. Thank you so much for this week of prayer. Thank you, Jesus, for your blessings. And I thank you, Lord Jesus, for all the youth that are on the line on Zoom tonight, Lord. We pray for those who are not on. Father, you know that, you know the young people, you know how much energy and zest and zeal that they have. And you know that many of them have a heart to serve you, Lord. 
Raven, our speaker for tonight, is one of them. She has a heart to serve you and to please you, Lord Jesus, and she wants to see you smiling down on her, Lord Jesus. And so, Father, right now, you know, humanly speaking, we get nervous sometimes. And so right now we pray, dear God, you are such a good God. You promise that if we can, we can do all things um, through Christ who strengthens us. And so right now we pray, Lord, I pray that you would forgive me of my sins. I pray that you would wash us and cleanse us, Lord, from all unrighteousness. I pray, dear Lord, that you would please be with Raven. I pray that you would be with her lips and give her the words to, to say that it will be shared and be uplifting for everyone here. And that also the words may inspire and encourage her on the daily journey, drawing closer and closer to Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus, for this opportunity we have to pray. And Lord, please hear the prayer request as of Sister Dorcas as she was praying and you have already answered. You said that while we're yet speaking, you already hear us, you know our hearts, you know our desires, and you are already making a way for her. We prayed in a special way that her um, Instagram account will not be, you know, will not be used in an inappropriate way by any other um, person, Lord. I pray that you would protect that, protect her identity, dear, dear God. And I pray, dear Lord, as she's seeking to, you know, be wise in her time and using, um, you know, her time and her energies for you, I pray that you continue to help her in that regard. Please help all of our youth, Lord. Those who are not on tonight, we pray that you would please um, um, help us to send them reminders or you, the Holy Spirit, can um, impress upon their minds to join. Please remember, Lord Jesus, we're asking that you would please um, help Sister Nadine. She sent in a she asked, she's asking for prayer. And you know her more than she knows herself, Lord Jesus. And you know her situation whatsoever that she's in need of. We pray that you would please grant it to her. And Lord, we know that you desire that all of us, you don't want any of us to perish, but you desire for all of us to be saved. And so we pray that you would please save Sister Nadine and please save her family as well. Thank you again so much, Lord, for this opportunity. Lord, you see right now, there's many people who are in war zones in Ukraine, as Sister Caroline has asked prayer for, the, for them, Lord, may you please be with them. We, um, we know that you can send your angels to encamp around about your children. It's one of your promises. And so we say that we ask and pray that you would please Send your angels to encamp around all of those in Ukraine, those who have been hiding, those who are um, in someone else's homes, those who have left their country to another place, um, just to, to, to looking for safety and security. We know that our safety is in Christ. We know the Bible says God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. So Lord, please be with all of those in trouble over in Europe. Please protect them. Please keep them. Please deliver them. And I pray, oh God, that once you have delivered them, that they will always praise you, always choose to praise you at all times, Lord. And for those who are sick, as Sister Carolyn says, that she's sitting with um, uh, an elderly um, person, I pray that you would watch over and protect and bring healing, Lord Jesus, to all those who are sick. Um, all of our churches have some senior members who are sick or sometimes they're getting a little bit weak and they need extra help. Lord Jesus, please be with them, give them wisdom, and please send helpers to help them, Lord Jesus, and for those who are getting weak and need extra help. Please send the help that they, they need. Thank you, Lord, for being such a good God. And again, thank you, Lord Jesus, for using Raven tonight. Please pour your spirit upon her as she shares. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Great God, we continue to pray this evening as we thank you for your blessings and we thank you for this time together as youth and, and, and members. All of us, God, we can come together to seek your face. And you have promised that if we come seeking your face and turn from our wicked ways and confess our sins, oh God, you will hear from heaven and forgive us of our sins and heal our lands. Oh God, there's so much in our lands and in our nation and in this world that needs healing. And so God, we know that this is only possible by having you, the Prince of Peace in our hearts. And so God, we place all the requests that were made earlier in your hands. We just pray that you will take full control. Mm -hmm. We ask for Sister Raven, God, that as you use her this evening, God, you will steady her thoughts and her minds and let her know, God, that you are there with her yes. and you will give her what she needs, oh God, to represent you. Mm -hmm. oh God, may your Holy Spirit overshadow her yes. as she represents you, God, in a powerful way this evening mm -hmm. as she speaks to our hearts. Oh God, we pray for 
Sister Dorcas, God, that challenge that she had with her account. Oh, God, we pray whatever the challenge is, even now, God, that you will correct it according to your will, God, so that um, she will continue to have a testimony to share and that her identity, oh, God, will be preserved mm -hmm. and protected. Oh, God, we just want to pray for the, the other requests that were made. Oh, God, we, Sister Carlin's requests, oh, God, we place Sister Rhonda and her family in your hands. Mm -hmm. You see what they're going through. You are a God of healing. Yes. No, God, there is no case that is impossible for you. So, God, what you did, even in Bible times and even in our lives, we pray you will do for them at this time. Yes. Lord. And you will heal them, God, from the crown of their head, even to the sole of their feet. God, we pray for healing according to your will. And, oh, God, we just want to pray for our nation as we ask you to take full control. We pray that your will will be done as you take us in a special way and give us your spirit that will lead us and guide us into all truth. Yes. And we pray, God, even for what is happening in, the, in Europe, oh God, and we just pray that your spirit will take full control. We pray for the families who are, who are hurting, mm -hmm. oh God, and those who have been dispossessed of their homes and of their families, oh God, we pray even now that you will intervene in a mighty way and bring peace and reconciliation. Yes. Bless us all on this platform this evening, God, as, as youth, as we come from both churches, oh God, and other places and other churches to come to seek your face. Yes. But this week, oh God, we look forward to spiritual revival as you revive our prayer life, God, as you revive our devotional life, God, as our families are revived, our nation, our country, we claim it and we believe it because we trust in you. Bless us all, we pray, as we give you thanks for your manifold blessings. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. 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 Well, thank you, uh, Sister Miriam and Pastor Campbell for the prayers. Um, at this moment, I would love to invite, I mean, to introduce our speaker, who is uh, our very own sister, Raven. We are really blessed to have you. And it's indeed a blessing that today we are going to be blessed even more through the word that God is going to speak to us through you. Yeah, so just a, um, a short intro about our speaker today under the theme, which is uh, the real superhero. Uh, Sister Robin Roberts is from um, Phoenix City Seventh-day Adventist Church. A young mother of three is, a proud, is, is proud to state one of the most significant events of her life was joining the Seventh-day Adventist Church in September 2018. Since becoming part of, of uh, God's family, she has found a passion for studying the uh, for studying and sharing God's word. Although she is new, she's excited for her for her new journey in service to youth and women's ministry. A very humble lady who is uh, committed to serve. We really appreciate you, and we thank God for you for sure. Yeah. So before I invite her. Um, Apparently today, I'll be giving the special music as well. So um, just allow me to prepare the, uh, the special music that, I, that I'll be sharing. Um, so the special music today is just, uh, uh, just coming from the hymn book. I'm just going to sing another hymn song, which is uh, 240, 240, which is uh, Paris, Lord Jesus. Fairest Lord Jesus, rule of all nature, all the good and wonderful. Thee will I cherish, thee will I honor, thou art my glory. Joy and crown. Fair are the meadows, fairest 
Till the woodlands robed in the blooming of, of spring. Jesus is fair, Jesus is pure, who makes the woeful hearts to sing. Beautiful Savior, Lord of the nations, Son of God, and Son of Man, glory and honor, praise, adoration, now and forever, forevermore be thine. Now and forevermore be thine. Amen. Amen. Yeah, um, well, at this moment, I would love to invite our speaker, Sister Reverend. Um, you're welcome. Amen. Good evening, everyone. Can you guys hear me well? Yes. Okay. Yes, we can. Okay, so um, our message for this evening is entitled The Real Superhero. Uh, how many of you guys are superhero fans or watch superhero movies growing up? Well, um, I know that um, many people do admire superhero movies and some people have favorite superheroes. Um, recently, there was a, stud a study that was published on Statistica.com in February 2021. In that study, they reported that in 2019, um, U.S. box office revenue for super superhero movies reached about $3.19 billion in revenue. Worldwide, uh, Marvel films reached 22.93 billion in revenue. Um, that same year, about 66% of adults age 18 through 29 reported watching superhero movies within the last year. It's obvious that superhero movies have a fair amount of influence um, in youth culture in the US and around the world. Uh, but what makes a superhero a superhero? Why are they superheroes? Uh, most of superheroes have one or more of a combination of particular attributes. Those are super strength, flight, uh, telepathy, which is the reading of the mind or thoughts, telekinesis, which, uh, which is the movement of objects, objects without physical contact, um, intelligence, and the most important thing is that they fight against wrongdoing and oppression. Majority of popular superheroes of this day were created in, in the 1940s and 1970s or between the 1940s and 1970s. Although they have drawn much attention, um, they are a product of the imagination. They are just a product of the imagination of the creator. But there is a real superhero, and he has not just a few of the characteristics of a superhero, but he has all of them. Strength. If we look at 2 Chronicles uh, chapter 20, verse 6, it says, And Jehoshaphat stood in the assembly of Judah and Jerusalem in the house of the Lord before the new court and said, O oh Lord God of our fathers, are you not God in heaven? You rule over all the kingdoms of the nation. In your hand are power and might so that no one is able to withstand you. Um, the superpower of flight. <clears throat> Revelation chapter 1 verse 7. Behold, he cometh with the clouds and every eye shall see him the attribute of telepathy, 
Psalms 139, verse 2. You know when I sit down and when I rise up, you discern my thoughts from afar. <clears throat> Telekinesis, Hebrews chapter 1, verse 3. He is the radiance, speaking of Jesus, he is the radiance of the glory of God and the exact imprint of his nature. And he upholds all things by the word of his power. Intelligence, Job chapter 20, verse 22. Can anyone teach God knowledge and that he judges those on high? Combat oppression and sin, Matthew 1, 21. Thou shalt call his name Jesus, and he shall, for, he shall save his people from their sins. And Luke chapter 4, verse 18, speaking of Jesus says, or Jesus is actually the one speaking in this verse, and he says, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. Jesus, the real superhero of the universe, came to save a world sick and infected with the virus of sin. He brings peace to the disturbed heart, and he comforts the anguished soul. He brings hope to the hopeless and salvation to the lost. Did you know that the Bible, especially the New Testament, is the most historically accurate book of all time? As time moves forward, scientific, prophetic, archeological, and manuscript evidence is proving this fact day by day. Check it out for yourself. Each biblical event, as well as the teaching, are intended to reveal to us the person character and power of Jesus Christ. One moment, you guys. I'm sorry about that. Of all the books of the Bible, Revelation written by the Apostle John around AD 96 revealed the mission, character, and character of our superhero the most. Before his encounter with Jesus, John was known as the son of thunder. This title was given to John to mark his aggressive and bold character. But after his encounter with the superhero of the universe, his life and character was transformed. John became known as the beloved disciple marked in John 21 verses 20 through 24. When we have an encounter with Jesus, he does not only save us from the enemy of our souls, but he will also extend to us his very own superhero DNA. This DNA is known as his divine nature attributes. This is exactly what happened to John and it can happen to you and it can happen to me too, if we allow him. Let's take a closer look at the book of Revelation. The very first verse of Revelation says, the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave to him to show to his bond servants the things which must soon take place. And he sent and communicated it by his angel, by his angel to his bond servant, John, who testifies to everything he saw that is the word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ. The English word revelation is a translation of the Greek word apocalypsis, which means to unveil or to discover. From the very first verse of revelation, we find that its purpose is to unveil the image of Jesus Christ in all his splendor and glory and also to come to know the triumph of God's love through him. Each one of the 22 chapters of Revelation, <clears throat> in those chapters, Jesus is the protagonist. 
he appears to adopt different names and exercise different functions throughout the book. Our superhero is mentioned more, more than 38 different names and descriptive titles. In the first three chapters alone, he is mentioned in various ways 137 times. And throughout the book, there are 250 references to his great person. We find our superhero being the first and the last, which is mentioned in Revelation chapter 117, verse 17. He is also mentioned as the son of God in Revelation chapter 3, verse 7. He's called the lion of the tribe of Judah, Revelation chapter 5, verse 5. The word of God, Revelation 19, verse 13. The king of kings and lord of lords in Revelation 19, verse 16. And he is known as the alpha and the omega. Revelation 22, verse 13. What are the attributes that Revelation highlights of Jesus Christ? Well, there are so many of them, but let's just take a look at three. The first attribute that Revelation mentions of our superhero, Jesus Christ, is of him being our creator. In Revelation chapter 3, verse 14, it states, we are told that Jesus is the amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of God's creation. Jesus is the beginning of creation. Does that mean that Jesus is a created being? That he did not exist during creation? No, absolutely not. The word beginning in this verse comes from the Greek word arche, which means originator or ruler. Our superhero is the creator, originator, and supreme ruler of creation. Let's look at what John himself wrote regarding the divinity of Jesus Christ. In John uh, chapter one, verses one through three, it states, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him, not anything was made that was made. So we have proof that Jesus is not a created being, but he is our creator. Nothing would be created without him. Did you know that of all the names and titles given to Jesus, that there is one that stands out in particular in Revelation? And that title is the symbol of the Lamb. This symbol is used throughout Revelation 28 times to refer to Jesus. And that may seem strange to us because when we think of a Lamb, a Lamb represents uh, a lamb is a very fragile and vulnerable creature. We never really see businesses or sports teams or um, we, we never really see this animal being used as like a mascot or a creature to symbolize strength. However, we have to remember that God's ways are higher than the ways of man. And he works differently than how we work. While in popular culture, the image of the lamb is a symbol of weakness, in the Bible, is it, is, it is a symbol of power and victory. For example, in Revelation chapter 5, the lamb is described as follows. And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb as it had been slain having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God, sent forth into all the earth. In this verse, we see that the lamb has seven horns and seven eyes. That sounds strange. What does that mean? Well, we know that the book of Revelation uses much symbolism. And in order to understand these um, symbols, we must go to other parts of the Bible and compare scripture with scripture. If we take a look at Deuteronomy 
chapter 33, verse 17, and also Numbers 23, 20, uh, verse 22, we will come to find out that the horns in biblical prophetic language represent power, strength, honor, and exaltation. Likewise, if we look at Psalms chapter 34, verse 15, and 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 12, we will see that the eyes are the symbol of knowledge and wisdom. On the other hand, in the Bible, the number seven is a symbol for perfection and completion. So the image of the seven horns represent perfect power, which is omnipotence. For its part, the image of the seven eyes refer to perfect knowledge, which is omniscience. So we see that the intelligence uh, Revelation describes our lamb as being with perfect power and perfect knowledge. Praise be to the name, our God. Our superhero can do anything and he knows everything. His power and knowledge are perfect and in him there is no weakness or defeat. He is eternal and almighty. Finally, Revelation tells us that our superhero is powerful to save. Revelation chapter 5, verses 9 and 10 state of the Lamb, you are worthy to take the scroll and open its seals for and have redeemed us to God by your blood. Out of every tribe, tongue, people, and nation, and have made us kings and priests, to our God, and we shall reign on the earth. Jesus was sacrificed for you and for me. And because of his sacrifice, we have been freed from condemnation and, et and eternal death. Our superhero is a faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead and the sovereign of the kings of the earth. He who loves us has washed us from our sins and with his blood made us kings and priests for God. <clears throat> John Franco needed a superhero to come to his rescue. As a child, he lost his parents in a terrible accident. Because of this tragedy, he had to live with his grandparents but at the age of 17, he left home and traveled to Brooklyn County, New York. While there, he became a member of a gang. And at just 20 years old, he left home and trapped, oh, I'm sorry. And at 20 years old, he ended up in prison and he committed armed rob robbery. At the age of 22, he received parole, but the use of drugs, alcohol, and, um, and his problem of depression led him to be admitted into a treatment center for mental health and substance abuse. When he left the center, unfortunately, he had no family to care for him, and he became a vagabond in New York. He was constantly seen lying in the street, a victim of overdoses over and over and over again. John desperately needed someone to help him out of the deep pit that he had fallen in. He needed a superhero to overcome. One day, while walking down the street, he found a flyer announcing the start of an evangelistic campaign. And this evangelistic series was called Revelations of the Apocalypse. He saw the address and he decided to attend. When he arrived at the church, he heard the preacher say that Jesus was the only one who had the power to give freedom. And before the preacher even finished his message, John's face was bathed in tears. At that moment, he asked God to work a miracle in his life in a powerful way. God.
In a powerful way, God worked in his heart and Jesus, the divine superhero, came to his rescue and gave him strength to deal with all of his addictions. And today, John Franco is an addiction-free youth and active member of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Jesus is the true superhero of all history. That is why today I wish to extend to you an invitation to accept him into your lives. If you feel lost, Jesus is your superhero. He knows the way. If you feel weak, Jesus is your superhero. He has all strength. If you are confused and you don't know where to go, he knows everything. He can guide your steps. He is a light unto our path, um, a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. If you feel defeated and hopeless, Jesus, he is your creator. So come and surrender your life to the real superhero of history, which is Jesus Christ. Let us have a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, I just thank you and praise you for giving your only son to die and shed his blood on the cross that we may be forgiven and that we would have the gift of eternal salvation. Father, we thank you for this wonderful opportunity to come before you and gather together and come to see that the, the characters that we see on the screen, the powers that they seem to have, they are only a mere imagination, Lord. They are just figments of the imagination. But Jesus is not a figment of the imagination. He is real and he is powerful. And he wants to save us, Lord, because he loves us and cares for us. And so, Father, I just ask that this message would be a blessing to someone. I ask that many hearts would be surrendered to you, Lord, that you would be able to transform just as you did for John. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you so much, you guys, for listening. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Um, well, we've come to the end of this uh, today's. Uh, I don't know if I'm okay, but yeah, I think we've come to the end of today's um, prayer meeting. I mean, well, just for today, we are invited to join in the morning and I'll hand over to Sister Donna if there's any other announcements or, um, yeah. Thank you so much, Amen. Doncas. Amen. Thank you so much, uh, Sister Raven. Wow. wow, that was um, a blessing. Yes, it was a oh, blessing. A superhero, aren't you glad you have yes. Jesus? Yes, as, as my superhero. Amen, wow. So there's no need to admire these superheroes. And, and what I love in the presentation, it says that these other superheroes may have one or two or a few attributes, mm -hmm. but Jesus has all, of them. all the yeah. attributes and that's what makes him distinct from all other yes. superheroes. Amen. And that was only just a few. That was just a right. little touch <laughs> right. of you know, right. all of those strengths that Jesus has. And he is willing and able to extend all of that to us. He doesn't just keep it for himself. He wants to give those things to us. So amen. that's an amazing amen. thing. Praise God. That. Amen. Uh, so we just, uh, Pastor Junior, you were going to say something? I just want to say praise God for the message. And uh, as the speaker said, all of the superheroes that we, uh, people have come to a love, they're imaginary, but Jesus is, is real. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Yes, that's Definitely. right. That's right. Definitely. Thank you so much. Um, and we just want to say thanks to everyone for joining on this evening. Oh, yeah. Remember again to invite a friend, remind even the members mm -hmm. as you get ready to log on, nudge a friend, remind them of the link to sure. join on um, so we can um, experience the rich blessings. Um, just two announcements um, for the um the prayer line will be on tomorrow morning again all 
right throughout this week until Sabbath morning. We pray at 6 a.m. That's Eastern time and 5 a.m. Central time. So you can log in. Um, the login for that one is different from this one that we're using for the, um, the Youth Week of Prayer. So that link is the Auburn Opelika link. Um, with the code, you would have gotten that with the code prayer. That's the code for that. Um, the flyers are available with that information, with the Zoom login information. But every, every night when you're logging in for the Youth Week of Pro, you're going to use this Phoenix um, Zoom login information. So spread the word. I know that this is just the beginning um, as we started out looking at the superhero. Um, well, we started yesterday with the whole truth, truth in one, one book. book. Today was the real superhero. Yes. And we'll continue for the rest of the week. The topics are very interesting. And we have our presenters. Um, the topic for tomorrow, let me get that one quickly. Um, so the topic that we're going to be looking on tomorrow is true Star Wars. And that's going to be, Please, our presenter is going to be, um, no, Brother Jamie, oh, Jamie. is going Ooh. to be presenting tomorrow, right. um, the true Star Wars. Amen. So we look forward to that. And we just want to wish you um, a very good night. And we look forward to seeing you again. Um, so we're just going to close off with the final prayer at this time. Um, we could ask a volunteer. If we have enough. Junior, yeah, Junior, you could close to pray to close our session this evening for us, please. Thank you. Let us pray. Our dear Father in heaven, we thank you so much, God, for the wonderful message that reminds us, God, how you loved us so greatly that when we needed a savior, a healer, a friend, a brother, God, we had all those in Jesus. So we cling unto him, God, and we pray for all of our friends out there. May Jesus' love be revealed to them that he may draw them to him. And we ask all of us that you may help us, God, to be ready for his coming when he will come. More than ever, Lord, to redeem us and save us for eternity. We thank you and we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. All right. Thank you, everyone. All right, everyone. Have a safe evening. All the best. By Good God's night. grace, tomorrow evening. Yes. Same time, same place. <laughs> All right. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. 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 Good night.